Hi guys! I hope you guys have listened to the story about Kite Day with the wind and the rain. I am going to show you how to make your very own rain cloud name. So you need two pieces of paper. One to be your cloud, one to be your raindrops. You need something to draw with. I'm using the color blue so that my raindrops look kind of blue. But you can use whatever color you want. You need a pair of scissors. These are big scissors. You need kid scissors or mom and dad help. And if you have string, you can do it with string. If you don't have string, you can do it with glue. Glue. And if you're doing string, you need a hole punch. So if you don't have these, that's okay. I'll show you how to do it with glue too. Sound good? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our cloud. So you need your paper and we're going to lay it nice and flat and we're going to draw a cloud. Are all clouds the same? No, they're all different. So it does not have to be perfect. It can be however you want. This is going to be a very fluffy cloud. So I'm going to give it lots of bumps. Make sure it connects together. Then I'm going to give it a happy face. So I'm going to draw one eye, two eyes, and a smiley face. I know that some of our friends like to give them eyelashes. You can give them eyelashes if you would like to, or you could not. Totally up to you. So now I have my cloud. It's a happy cloud, even though it's a rain cloud. Rain clouds can be happy. Next, I'm going to cut out my cloud. You don't have to be perfect. We're practicing our scissor skills. Make sure we're holding our scissors nice and up and down and not sideways because that doesn't work so well. So nice up and down. And we're going to cut around our line that we drew for our cloud. And then when we're done, we're going to change to our raindrops. So we're already almost done with our cloud. That's pretty cool. And when you're all done with this whole project, you could hang it on the window if you wanted to. But this is going to connect to all the other things we're learning about today, like making shapes out of clouds, like shaving cream, making our own cloud print, And the book that we read that was about wind, but also clouds and rain. I'm almost done cutting him out. There. I want to make sure I throw this away. I'm going to put it over here for right now, and I'll throw it away later. So there's my cloud. He's all cut out. Now we're going to switch to our other paper. I already drew my raindrops. You might need a mom or dad to help draw your raindrops, so that way you have one for every letter of your name. So the way you draw a raindrop, if you want to try for yourself, is you're going to start at the top, you're going to go down and around, and back up. So it's almost like a round triangle or a pear. It's got a point at the top and very round on the bottom. Then you're going to write your name. So if I write Misty on, you say D, Y. A N I. So you put one letter in each raindrop. Some friends are going to have a lot of raindrops. Some friends are going to have a little bit of raindrops. That's okay. So I'm going to cut out two of my letters so I can show you both ways of how to do this activity. But when you do it, you're going to cut out all your letters. So I'm going to do just my first two, my D and my Y. So I'm going to cut them out. And they're kind of easier to cut out than the cloud because they are a round shape. You just have to twist and boom, there's one. You cut out my other one. And I will show you both ways you can do this. So, we got those all cut out. The first way you can do this is you're going to take your cloud. And if you have string and a hole punch, this is how you would do the string and hole punch. So you're going to take your hole punch, you might need mom and dad help, and you're going to punch a hole in the bottom of your cloud for your letter. Then you're going to take your raindrop, and you're going to put a hole in the top of your raindrop. 
So we have a hole in the raindrop and a hole in the cloud. Then we are going to take our string and cut a little piece of it off. About that much is good. Then we're going to put the string through the hole in the cloud. And we're going to be very gentle because if you pull too hard, what's it going to do to the paper? It'll rip it. So we're going to tie it on to our cloud. And then I'm going to take this other end and tie it on to the first letter of my name, which is a D for Miss Diani. And that's the first way you can do it. So your rain drop is hanging down off your cloud. You see my raindrop hanging down with my letter? The second way you can do it if you don't have string or yarn or a hole punch is you're going to use your glue stick. And we're going to glue just the very top, the pointy part of our letter. And we're going to glue it to the very bottom of the clouds like it's coming out of the cloud so i have my first way you could do it by tying it with yarn and a hole punch or the second way you can do it by gluing it on but your job is to make sure your letters are in order you don't want a mixed up name so you need to make sure whichever way you do it you put all your letters for your name in order all right friends i hope you have fun making your very own rain cloud with your name I will see you guys later to make some cloud prints. Bye.